this is Bill Hewitt, PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today I want to talk to you about value in the trucks that I sell. And to illustrate this, I'm going to talk about molecules and I'm going to talk about paper. But the, the statement here, I will put any truck that I sell, 05, 06, 07 is the only years I really like to sell. I really don't like to sell duallys because by the time I get them, everything's worn out on them. They've been loved to death. Uh, I don't like uh, flood trucks. Every now and then I'll buy one simply because they're not that bad. Uh, I really don't like repo trucks because they've been beat on. I like to buy theft recoveries and that's really what I like. And of course I like to buy clean paper trucks, but they're so far out of sight in terms of price these days that there's no way that I can buy it and repair it and do everything that needs to be done to it in terms of the molecules that I can sell it for anything less than $45,000, $50,000. I find people commenting and complaining about $35,000 is too much for a truck, but let me tell you something. You bring any $35,000 truck, I don't care if it's, a, if it's 2013, 14, 15, I don't care if it's Chevrolet, I don't care if it's a Dodge, and bring it and put it right here, and I will pick that son of a bitch apart. I will absolutely make you wish you hadn't brought it over here, because these trucks I've worked on. I got the molecule straight on these trucks. I've sold 167 trucks since January 2017, and this is September 2018. 167 trucks. Only had two come back, and I resold those and made get those people their money back. If you don't like the truck, get it back to me, and I will find another home for it. Sometimes, it, and it was never the truck that was the problem. It was it didn't fit their needs. It wasn't big enough. It, you know, but I will get your truck sold for you. I will make sure that you are happy. I don't have unhappy customers, whether I'm repairing your truck, or whether I'm selling you a truck. I know every nut, bolt, and washer of this truck. I know everything about it that goes wrong. I have made sure that the components in this truck are absolutely right where they need to be so you can get in this truck and go another two or 300,000 miles and I give a lifetime warranty on the head gaskets. Nobody does that. Ford Motor Company doesn't do that from the factory. So I give a better than factory warranty. So yeah, they're going to be expensive. Yes, they are. You know, KBB book on this thing or NADA. Oh, it's about 20. Why are you getting 35? Well, let's go downstairs and do the math. So the real question here about the paper versus molecules thing, which I know is silly, but I'm trying to make a point here, is where do you put your money? Do you put your money into the paper or do you put your money into the molecules? Okay? Let's talk about paper for just a second. Okay, this is what a clean title looks like. Clean title looks like that. Straight up, there's nothing written in here. Okay? Uh, Texas title would look like that, except you see right here, on this one it says manufacturer buyback. Isn't that fun? Now when you get into ones that have problems, it'll look like this. It'll have a rebuild, which any theft recovery, any sort of salvage vehicle, whatever problem, if it's if it had frame damage, if it, if it deployed the airbags, any of that thing, or theft recovery, or anything of that nature, it'll come back rebuilt. And then there's an additional flood damage. Is that white king ranch, it's so nice. They put flood damage on it, but it, it wasn't flooded. Here's a salvage vehicle. The difference between a salvage vehicle, see it says salvage down here. The difference between salvage and rebuilt is, is that the salvage vehicle, it can't be registered to be driven on the street. Okay? Can't go out on the street until you take this, this title, you go have the vehicle inspected, and go through the process of uh, 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 submitting it to the state. I actually, I actually have an auto dealer license, used car dealer license in the state of Georgia, and I have a rebuilder's license, which is virtually the same as owning a junkyard license. I, I can do both. But just a regular auto dealer can only process two a year, or actually four, one at two in his name, two in the company name. I got to pay tax on them though if you put in your personal name. The state of Florida has this designation right here called salvage rebuildable. Okay, there's a salvage, it's salvage only, meaning they can't rebuild it, and then there's salvage and rebuildable. Okay, here to make this point, let's just take a 130,000 mile King Ranch truck. Uh, uh, one has clean paper, uh, it's a nice truck, they're both identical trucks, but one has salvage and one has clean paper. You're going to spend eight to ten thousand dollars for the truck with clean paper. Now, not always. Now, and I don't because I always buy them damaged. I, I can get a clean paper truck now and then, I get them. But in order to fulfill the demand of my customers, I have to step outside the box and look at these other trucks to see what I can find. Look, it's a 12 year old truck at 2005, 6 and 7 is now, you know, a 10 or 12, 13 year old truck. And all this salvage and rebuilding doesn't mean anything anymore. The value of the truck has come down into the 20s and 30s. Even on a rebuilt truck, 
uh, uh, 2005, six or seven, Navy Federal will lend 20, 25,000 on that truck all day long, depending on your credit. If you got bad credit, you got bad credit. They're not going to lend you any money. But if you got decent credit, 700s, they're going to loan you 20, 23,000 dollars on a 2005, six or seven truck. They will all day long. So what you're paying for is clean title, which doesn't matter when you're buying a truck for me because I'm, I'm going to go through the truck. When I say go through the truck, and I say that as kind of a blanket statement, I mean, I'm going to do the paint, I'm going to do the interior, I'm going to do the carbon, I'm going to do the windshield, I'm going to do the, make sure all the lights work, make sure that the drive shaft is good, take apart the engine and look at everything completely, check out the transmission, check out the brakes. I'm, more often than not, I'll replace the brakes and the completely do the front end. So for me to be able to sell a truck, for a high-end truck, say the top end is 38 and bottom end is 22 for a work truck, say a two-wheel drive work truck. Okay, for me to be able to sell these trucks and put the type of work into them I do, I have to buy the thing right. If I'm buying these trucks from Mannheim, good running trucks with no problems, I'm paying fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars for them, then all of a sudden these numbers are going to grow to by ten thousand dollars. It's just the way it's going to be because I have to put so much into them. So my point is, is that since the, the paper in and of itself is not really worth the extra $10,000, that's, that's what I'm trying to illustrate to you here. The extra paper doesn't equate to the extra $10,000 you're going to pay for the truck. The reason being is you're not, they're not going to loan any more than what they're going to loan on one with a rebuilt title. So what the hell does it matter? The, what really matters here is the molecules. The molecules of the engine bearings, the molecules of the head gaskets, the molecules of the, of the valves, the molecules of the, the camshaft, the lifters, all the seals in the engine that we replaced, the injectors that we replaced, the brakes that we replaced, the front end that we replaced, the paint that gets done, the interior that gets done. That's what really matters. So you're going to pay an extra 10 grand, you're going to pay a premium over here, just so you have a clean piece of paper. And you know what? After you do that, the fact is the molecules are still the same as your original theft recovery truck that I got. So you better make sure that when you're driving your nice paper truck down the road and it breaks down like you know it's going to do, you better have that nice clean piece of paper with you while you're waiting for the tow truck to come get you so you can wipe your backside with it when you can't hold it any longer because you didn't get there in time. That's all, that's, that's all this is really good for on a 10 to 15 year old truck. Unfortunately, it's the truth. So do you want a truck that I've done my thing to? Or do you want to pay extra money for paper that really doesn't matter? It really doesn't matter. What matters is the molecules inside the truck. To really understand what I do with these trucks, you have to walk around them a little bit. This is a 2005 F-250, 189,000 miles. Only thing it doesn't have is a sunroof. It's a King Ranch, got the King Ranch custom seats that we do. We're about to deliver this to a customer. We repainted this truck to make sure that the paint molecules are right. I mean, this is a beautiful truck. Going over here and had the factory Ford spray-in bed liner put on it. I mean, this is a beautiful piece of equipment. Beautiful piece of equipment. $38,000 this man paid for this truck. Let me tell you something. This truck will get better fuel economy than anything built after 2008. Because all that DPF mess, all that does is eat up your fuel economy. If this man takes care of this truck and doesn't beat on it, it will go another two, three hundred thousand miles. No problem. And it's going to get good fuel economy doing it. Every motor in every one of the trucks that I sell has either been replaced or completely disassembled and new main and rod bearings. Check every part in it to make sure it's right. Put the big dog heads, the studs, the EGR cooler delete, uh, the tuner, uh, Mishimoto radiator, new batteries. I mean, everything in here has been done. The molecules have been done. Nine times out of ten, the brake systems are completely new. Front ends have been done. We even paint the frame on these things. Okay? This is a restored vehicle. That's what you're buying. Now, all these trucks here, you never saw on any of the videos. And the reason you didn't is because we got lists of people who are asking for stuff for us to sell. This is a black Lariat that we got in. Just been perma-finished. Absolutely spectacular. 114,000 miles. Okay. One thing this thing doesn't have is a sunroof. Absolutely gorgeous truck. Man out in Texas been after us to get him this truck for six months. He says, I want a black truck. I said, okay. You know, nice clean truck hadn't been beat on. This is what I really go looking for. I don't care about the miles. I care about rust and I care about the body. How bad if it's been beat on. I can pretty much fix the molecules and the rest of the truck. 
drivetrain problems, you know, any of that stuff I can straighten out. We always take the transmission out, take a look at it. Uh, you know, these transmissions don't go bad. And if it hadn't done a lot of towing 99% of the time, these transmissions will hold up to anything you want to do. I've, I've had to replace a few, you know, when we've had them in here, but I've never had one have to be replaced after I sold the truck. If there's metal in the bottom of the hand, we replace the transmission. Just that simple. If it's over 200,000 miles, replace the transmission. And again, the motor's been completely disassembled. It's been gone through. We looked at every molecule in there, the seals, the, the oil pump, the main rod bearings, everything in there has been done. This truck's going to go as long as this man wants to own it. It's a beautiful truck. Blue King Ranch F350 long wheelbase. Just got a deposit on this one. I mean, this one even came in with good Michelins on it. I love that when people come in with fresh Michelins on the tires. This one's even got a sunroof. Beautiful truck. This one's actually a clean paper truck. 138,000 miles. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Long wheel base, F-350. Got a set-in bed liner in it. I knew this, this This man here was actually a friend. He sent several trucks to us and he just didn't want to spend the money to put a motor in this truck. The only reason this truck needed the motor was the EGR uh, cooler had gone bad and they let it sit and it rusts the inside of the block. Can't let these things sit with water inside the motor. And it wasn't because it was worn out. The truck's a nice truck. Still got to get it to perma finish. Just had the front end done. So it boils down to what's most important to you? Clean title? You got to pay all that extra money for that clean title? Which doesn't matter on a 10, 12 year old truck. I don't know. Anything under five years old, that title makes a difference. After five years, nobody cares. Uh, the banks don't care. This particular truck is a theft recovery. But these are beautiful trucks. That one sold for 37. This one sold for 38. This one sold for 36. And they're happy to pay it because they know that there's no other truck out here that will get the fuel economy and be dependable. We put new injectors in these trucks. Every single one gets new injectors. It's the key to happiness with these engines. So what do I mean by molecules? I mean, like the molecules in brand new valves. You know, the O-rings, stainless steel O-rings, those stainless steel molecules right there inside that iron cylinder head is what makes the head gasket stay in place. That's molecular. Molecules like worn out brake rotors, worn out brake pads, calipers that are leaking or the seals are bad. Molecules like steering dampeners and shock absorbers, you know, tie rod ends. See, the rubber bushing's bad and that's why the death wobble was happening on that particular truck. Molecules like batteries where the acid and the lead have gotten all messed up inside there and it, it doesn't produce electricity like it used to. So you have to decide what's important to you. Whether it's this nice piece of paper over here that says, oh, it's a clean title. Or if you really want the truck to run right and act right for you for the next 5, 10 years, 15 years. Depends on how much you drive it. Some of these guys are older fellows that are retired and just want to pull their camper around a little bit. They want to be the last truck that they buy. But they want that thing to do what they need it to do and not hassle them and get stuck by the side of the road. Look, I'm Bill Hewitt, and I've dedicated myself to the Power Stroke, especially the 6 liter, because it is a problematic engine, and I've solved the problems of this engine that Ford Motor Company put them into the world with. Look, y'all bring your trucks to me, and you buy your trucks from me because you know that you're going to get a quality vehicle. And you know that you're going to get something that all the molecules are straight in. And it's just that simple. I will sell you the best value at the best price that I possibly can. Price is what you pay for, and value is what you get. When you buy something from me, and I look you in the eye and shake your hand and tell you that it's right, you're getting a vehicle you can go in for a long time dependably. That's what I want. I want to be able to look a man in the eye and know that I've done the best I can for him. These trucks right here, these customers are going to take these trucks and they're going to be absolutely tickled to death with them. So, if you're looking for a truck, I don't do a lot with Dooley's just simply because they're very difficult to find in any kind of shape, but give Dana a call, 404-538-4271, or better yet, just email me with a detailed list of what it is you're looking for, bill at powerstrokehelp.com. We will do our best to find you exactly what you're looking for. Thank you for all your support at Powerstroke Specialty, powerstrokehelp.com. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on powerstrokehelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website powerstrokehelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making powerstrokehelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.